Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. So today I have some news. I have two parts good news to one part bad news. So let's get the bad news out of the way and I'll try and smush it down with, with the good news, okay? I will not be doing daily running content anymore. If you've been watching and you've been following along the run episodes for the last month and a bit, I'm sure you've been like, hey, uh, these episodes aren't coming out every day, what gives? And for that, I'm sorry, I'm genuinely sorry. I tried. I, I, I do work like a full-time job. Um, I also do run myself and I really I really tried to, to get these out every day. And you know, I, and I haven't been able to do that. And for that, I'm sorry. If you subscribe to this channel because you expect it and you want daily content, I'm sorry, I can't provide that. You should probably unsubscribe. I didn't mean to provide false expectations or false hopes. Um, this is just the way things kind of worked out. Um, I tried it and it hasn't really been working with my life. And also, I, I'm not a daily vlogger. I, I don't want to do that. Um, and that's kind of not really the focus of this channel. Like it, like I'm part of the videos, but the idea has been to provide good, high quality, uh, evergreen, long-term content that's really valuable and helps you guys as runners. Because that's the whole point of this. It's honestly been really stressful trying to churn these out every day, but still keep them high quality. And it got to the point to where it really wasn't fun anymore. And, and rushing to like just force something out every day I don't think that's it's not good for me like as a creator but then also for you guys like you guys want good stuff and you want it like well done and thoroughly researched but then also it needs to be like visually cool and fun and that's kind of like the goal of this whole thing right and, and in order for me to do that I, I need to take a bit of time between each video so I can't do these every day I'm sorry I want to make good high quality stuff that's as true in five years as it is now that people can look back on and it still holds its value I'm kind of a perfectionist too, and so when I edit things, um, they have to be perfect. I'm very thorough, I'm very meticulous, and when I'm rushing to research and edit and shoot, it makes it super stressful and also super not fun. And I don't think that's the best way for me to provide value or motivate you guys. So I think it's best if I take my time putting out content and doing the best that I can every upload. I think you guys will appreciate that more. Okay, so that's the bad news out of the way. Now to smother it down with the good news. First good news, I will absolutely still be uploading runner focused, runner lover, runner's life content. I think it's fun and also it's a good niche to put out content for. I'm always gonna be a runner at heart. This is my, this is like my second home and that will never change. So I'll keep sharing and trying to help and give value to you guys, the runners out there, so you guys can run faster and smarter. That won't change. Uh, everything will just be hopefully a little more HQ. So that was the second piece of good news. Third piece of good news. I'm moving! Oh man, I'm so excited. So last week I had a little bit of an epiphany and I started making some moves. And so yeah, I'm happy to announce that in the fall I will be moving to I might actually bleep that out later because I don't want to jinx anything. But I'm super excited. Totally new country, a new culture, a new language to learn. And I'm really happy and excited for this new direction my life's going. And so with that, I'm actually going to be changing the marathon I'm going to be running. So I know I made that video talking about Casey Neistat and running the New York City Marathon. And you know, if that opportunity presents itself, I'll absolutely jump on board with it. But the reality is that this is real life with real life costs and real life challenges. And um, I'm thinking about myself long term, not just in the next six months. So I'm gonna be switching the marathon. I'm gonna reach out to the Berlin Marathon as a hint, I'm moving to Europe. So I actually qualify for automatic entry with my past race time, but the deadline has passed. So I'm gonna reach out to them and see. Um, they could say yes or they could say 999. We'll see, but it's a majors marathon. It's a fast course. So it'd be a really awesome, fantastic opportunity. And that's in the middle of September. If I can't get into that, oh well, I'll have to run another one in the spring. But what I will do is pick another race to run before I leave Taiwan. So maybe a half or a full, depending. During the summer here, it's super hot and humid. So there's a lot of fluid loss. So I don't think my performance and a marathon would be very indicative of my fitness. So I might have to be a half, but we'll see. So that's my update for the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys watched all the run episodes, thank you so much, that means a lot. I'm sorry I'm not able to continue to provide daily content, but I think you guys understand. I'm excited to continue to be able to produce good runner-focused content. So I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.